In this video, I am going to show you how you can easily delete search history on YouTube app on your iPhone or Android device. Be sure to watch the video to the very end so you don't make any mistakes and of course do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. So let's begin and first off open up YouTube app. Once the app is opened, tap at your profile picture and then tap on your data in YouTube. If this is the first time you open up this feature, it may ask you to enter your username and the password and after that you will get access to these uh, settings. Then you can scroll down until you find YouTube search history. Then just tap at manage your YouTube search history and that will show you both YouTube search and watch history. Just uh, scroll down for a bit. Here you can see uh, my recent searches and my recent watched videos. And uh, then if you want to delete some watched videos or some uh, specific searches, you can just tap at uh, that X icon to delete uh, the particular search. Now it says deletion complete. You can just tap for tap on got it. And in the same way you can delete any specific searches and watched videos that you want. Also, you can bulk delete watch and search history by hitting right here where it says delete and then you can select delete today, delete custom range and delete all time. So I'm just gonna tap at delete today to demonstrate you how it works. So that's it, the whole history for today has just been removed and uh, right here you can also customize saving your YouTube history, you can just uh, get into it and then check mark or uncheck mark these sub settings like include the YouTube videos you watch, include your searches on YouTube or include YouTube voice and audio activity. Also you can if you go back to manage your YouTube search history. Also you can set auto delete. By default it is toggled off. You can tap on that and then select auto delete activity older than and then just uh, select uh, one of these three options. 3 months, 18 months and 36 months. Once you have selected one of that options just don't forget to hit add next. Now you can write down in the comments below if you have any questions about that tutorial and also I recommend you to check out my YouTube tutorials playlist which you can easily find in the description. Hit the like button if you liked that video and I see you in the next one.